Hi, I welcome you all to this session on organization management. We are going to create organization unit by using the T code PO10. <coughs> In the last few sessions, what we have done, we have uh, uh, developed this structure. We have developed this enterprise structure, then personal structure, then organization structure also we have created. Okay. So under enterprise structure, we have created the company code personal area personal area means location so we have also created we have created a locational code that is called in SAP language that is called personal area and we have also created some of the department these are the department code like Mumbai region state for example uh, there are department HR finance and marketing and uh, Delhi region it is uh, marketing and uh, Bangalore it is uh, manufacturing and uh, marketing and Hyderabad it is R&D these are those so this company code is created by normally FICO consultant and this personal area and personal shop area are created by uh, HCM consultant. So then no, we also discussed about this uh, uh, employee group, employee subgroup and payroll accounting area. We are going to discuss this in uh, payroll when we will discuss about payroll, we will discuss this. So uh, for the timing, we have discussed this employee group and employee group, you have created O for active, Q for inactive. Then under uh, uh, employee subgroup, we have created 51 for salaried and 52 for wage earners. So, we have this. so then we have uh, uh, also created this organization structure under organization structure org unit uh, job, position, work center, persons, these are the things we have discussed. These are the objectives that organizational unit object key is O, job C, positions S and work center K and P A for persons. Okay, these are the things. So, in this session, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, create the organization structure. Okay, uh, so how one uh, uh, s organizations look like so at the apex uh, uh, at the top we will find the corporate office and uh, these are the organized units like corporate office human resource department human resource and finance marketing these are the organization unit these are called organization unit okay so uh, uh, we are going to create so uh, when we create this corporate uh, office there is uh, nowhere the above that there is nothing to report so like there is no such department to report so it will be stand uh, it will be created uh, as independent and but it will its hr department will have one authority that reporting authority that is called corporate office so hr has to report to corporate office that relationship will see then finance department has to report to corporate office then marketing department has to report to uh, corporate office. So, these are the relationship. First of all, we will create the object that is four objects we will create uh, the like uh, corporate office, human resource, uh, finance and marketing then we will establish the relationship. So, so what we are going to use? We are going to use the T code that is called P10. So, we will open this. So, this is SAP EG access. So, we are going to use the T code that is called PO10. Or directly we can see also we can see this uh, human resource we can go under human resource uh, we will find OM this is called organizational management this is called organizational management then under uh, organizational management we can see export mode yes these are the uh, that um, that what we are organ that uh, options that we are creating here that under organization structure or unit uh, the job position work center tax catalog all these things are there so we will click here we or we can write here directly the command po10 we will click here okay so this is so this is the screen so we have to read this maintain organization unit so these are the hr operations this is for display change this is for create so if we want to change it, uh, bring about certain changes in the info type, we have to click here. This is for display. This is for copy. This is for delimit. Delimit is used normally to record, to keep the record of uh, the historical data, whatever, whatever operations that we are uh, making. 
under this PO10. So all these operations will be recorded if we are keeping this option. So the delete means that uh, the latest uh, operations will be recorded and rest will be recorded, that deleted. So this is after the functions we will see the overview. Okay. So these are the things. So activate. So we will see one by one. So now we will see normally this organization unit is uh, will be kept uh, blank. Okay. So we will create the object. So create. So this is. So we have to see. Uh, see validity date. We will put it like we will put it 0 1 0 2. 2022. So this is the validity we will put and object key. So we will start what is the uh, let us say some of the uh, like uh, we will create for the uh, like corporate office we will create. Okay. Corporate office we will create. So first affects corporate office C O R P. This is the abbreviations. This time will be corporate office. Okay. Corporate office. I can write C O R P O corporate office okay so since it is a learning system therefore let me write my so that my name so that I it will be easy to that identify this so this is and then I can after that so to these are the mandatory fields like uh, object abbreviations and object names have to be um, this that have to be filled up then we can go for this okay so plant proposal for plant relationship so we have to check this okay. then mm, we'll write here uh, see this is a reporting relationship reporting relationship a a zero zero two so this is the that means this department will report to whom so suppose we'll write it b so let us say what it is details means it is the line supervisors okay b means it is the line supervisor so it, it is supervising whom okay this is the options so if you see it is the line supervisor it is the line supervisor of whom it is the line supervisor of the uh, below department like hr department so we will go with this okay a so it is reports to so there is no uh, other department above it to report so therefore we will put as enter so then we will go for this so uh, this corporate office is the at the top okay that means it doesn't report to any other department so there is they then that corporate office report to the board board members but they are not on the roll so as it is the apex therefore we have to go back there is certain so since we will uh, recreate once again yes so now it has come okay organization unit id has been so here what is required that uh, we don't need to <coughs> that uh, <coughs> process so what we have to do so after filling the that uh, object first way then we have to come back okay so we have to take a note of this so this for corporate office this is the code that we have generated that is called five zero 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 five five zero 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 two three okay so we can write five zero 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 two three uh, corporate office five zero 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 then it is uh, two three four five two three four five two three two three four five so we have to take a note here okay so then we can go for uh, then it's fine then we will create another uh, uh, that is called another org unit then so once this is uh, 
uh, you can see once this is object has been created there will be a tick mark so we will create another okay so the tick has been removed then we can go for this we can select the object we can go for a new so we can change the date so the date is 0 1 0 2 then uh, this is the date we are creating another department the department is it is called uh, like uh, we will create another department the HR department so HR department D so I will write as this then HR human resource I will write okay So I will write there. So this is human resource department. Okay. So then I will go for enter. So, okay. So then so you see this uh, uh, you can see uh, this HR department has been created. Okay. So status is planning. This is the valid date that we have put and the department relationship. It is so we are maintaining a relationship. So, uh, it uh, reports to whom? It reports to uh, the org unit that is called corporate office. So, we can solve this. I have just created this. So, this is one I have created with this. So, corporate office. This is a corporate office I have created. So, corporate office uh, ID is this. Then we can go for save. Okay. Okay, this has been created. So, one relationship has been also maintained. We will see the overview. Okay, see, you see. So, the department has been created and the department A002 reports to corporate office. This is the overview we can see. So, we can come back. So, object we will see. So, object has been created on 1st February 2022. So, object name is human resource department. So, then we will create another department. We will remove this. Okay. We will remove this. Then we will create, the, uh, select the object. Then we can go for new. So, we will change the date. That is called 0, 0, 01 February 2022. So, this is the by default date. So, now we will create another department that is called finance department, okay, finance department, then underscore BAPT, okay. So, therefore, what is required? So, we will write the finance department, finance department, finance department, okay. So, I will write since I am using, I am, I will write it is uh, easy to then I will go for save. So, after that, so this once again, this department relationship, it reports to who? It reports to um, that corporate office. Okay. We will see what is. So, two departments we have already created. One is corporate office, another is HR. We can go for because it will report to corporate office. Okay. So, now it is reporting to corporate office. Understood? So, we can go for save. Okay. So, then we have found the relationship. Okay. So, it reports to corporate office. So, we have saved. Then we will go for another department. We will create another department. Okay. So, once this uh, space organization, this actual this code is auto generated. Okay. This code is auto generated. So, uh, we can we, we can select object, okay. we, we, we can select object and we can create, okay. So, once again, we will write 0 1 0 2 2022. So, we have created uh, uh, finance, now we will create market. marketing department so here object name is marketing department okay. okay 
so I will put enter then save next phase so this has been created so it is the reporting line it is telling about reporting line it reports to whom this marketing department I report to corporate office so this corporate office I have to select then this is the code for corporate office so we can see okay five zero 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 two three four eight okay so we can see so now we can this department has been created so we'll see the relationship yes so now we have seen the relationship that uh, it reports to marketing department a002 reports to corporate office okay it, this has been created okay so this is how we can create the department okay so similarly we can see for seven let us say uh, finance department we have seen we have created this five zero 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 two three four seven so we can see it is also there okay. so report lines has been created so this is how we can create this uh, actually the uh, various org unit let us remember that this org unit are independent in natures but there is a reporting relationship okay so at the top the um, there is a corporate office below that various departments are there these departments are reporting for reporting to corporate unit so this is uh, the session today thank you thank you very much